If your ink too slow and your nib won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to see you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Well, hello, folks. Larry here from Larry's Fountain Pen Reviews. And today I'm going to do a mail call. Uh, I'm kind of snowed on to with some mail calls, so I finally feel up to doing some mail calls, so I better do it tonight. Tonight is a uh, Friday night, right after Thanksgiving. And that right, Nicholas? Yes. That's right. And here we go. This one here is from Pen Boutique. And I'm sure you've heard of Pin Boutique, but if you haven't heard of them, you'll hear from them now. Okay, if I get all this stuff out, two, three. All right, as I get junk all over the place, I have to clean it up again, but anyway. And with uh, this order, I get Jolly Ranchers. Yay! So let's see what I got. Well, you're going to get, wouldn't you know it, the ultimate, the ultimate person in charge of Pin Boutique that does all the clerical work all the important stuff there, the billing, the accounting, and uh, make sure that uh, Lena and her staff are up to par and getting billings right so they can keep the doors open is no other than... Who knows this person's name? Anybody. Put the name in the comment below if you know the person's name. And I call him a person because he is a person. He is part of the Pin Boutique, Lena's personal family. That's her baby. Oh, right there. So, and thank you, Carla, for wrapping this up for me, Carla. Back to you. Peace and love, baby. You're really rocking. And what else did we get? We got some papers. Mm -hmm. Exchange policy. And a Z ticket. So here we go. And this is going to be... Oh. Here's a pen that I've been wanting for a while. And I finally got it. A diplomat. One of my favorite brands, for real. A good brand, a dependable brand, and they're on the money. And I believe that these pens are very affordable. So here we go. Here's what they look like when you open it. All right. It's the black one. Let me... And open it down here. Of course, you get the diplomat little card right here. Okay. And here is this beautiful diplomat, which I will. It's called the Viper. And I will review it later, but real quickly. Here is a nib. And I got a medium nib. And I'm sure it comes with a right there. A filler upper that will fill your ink up. And we'll put this aside. I like that little, isn't it? Magnet, I like that. It just 
clips right back on. That's cool. All right. Let me put this up, and then we'll go into another one. All right. And right here we have the one and only Monte Verde. Here's one when I saw it come out. I had to have it. One of my favorite all-time pens. I love them. Love them in the store. And you know, I've had some viewers said that a lot of these pens aren't worth the money. They're too high. Well, if you remember, I believe, was it last year, Jake, or year before last, we kept telling people that pin prices were going to go up. Everybody was going to get hit. And, uh, and they did. But, you know, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Anyway, here is the beautiful Monteverdi pin, and we're going to open her up. Okay. So now... Look at this sucker just screaming. Now that is beauty. Look at that beautiful, gorgeous pin with the white and the blue and then the silver trimming around the barrel. It just put together very, very nicely. I love the co color coordination on it. And this one too has a magnetic close. And this one, I wanted to say, here we go, there's your nib, and I'll get into the nib and all that when I do the review and the writing and all that good stuff, always comes with one of these little jewels, and remember, you have to unscrew it. And I'll just stick it back in here. Now, I think it's pretty. Some may like it, some may not, but that's okay. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Because I like it. It's only fountain pens because I like it. Look at that, baby. Ooh, can you feel it? Can you taste it? Do you just got to have it? You got to have it. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Sorry about that. And when you open this little jewel up, you're going to get two cartridges and the booklet. or the And it's going to tell you about the do's, don'ts, and how's, and whatever you need. It's going to be in there. Monte Verde. Another one of my favorites. So, I'll be right back with part two of Pin Boutique. Another round of Pin Boutique. Are y'all with me still? If you're not with me, it's about time that you are with me and stay with me and be with me because you got to, got to be there. I think. And ranchers. And I think, yes, that one will be mine. And he takes on my ranchers. So, and here we go. And Carla didn't do this one. Carla! Here we go. And... Tell us how we can improve. I'm sure I'll tell you right now. More ranchers. Hey. Okay. And, oh, this is Carla. I'm sorry. I apologize, Carla. And here we go. And that's a box. Okay. And this is going to tell you about la 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 la. Here we go. Alrighty. But anyway, it's that time of year. And to all of you out there, if we can afford 
to get a drink or a soda or a pen or anything, do you think you can give a dollar, 50 cents, or 25 cents to the Cancer Society? I mean, I'm telling you, growing up, uh, I have a lot of good friends that come down with cancer. And uh, other illnesses that are severe. So, think about it. See what you can do. I know you can do something. And what else can I tell you? Here's what's in the bag. Okay, one of my favorite inks. Yes, got to be one of my favorite inks. And let's say the name, Mr. J. Let's see it's this. Called the Mont Blanc. Trying to find it. Oh yeah, Mont Blanc. Uh, Meisterstück Olympic Heritage Red. Yes, sir. Let me open it up. I do like the boxes is coming. Monteblanc is a class A act. Love it. As a you know, design of the ship, but it just it's so well put together. I think you get your money with it. So let's get with it. It comes in this little box just like this. And I think right now they're on has some sales going on. You might want to check. And you get a little booklet about the ink and stuff. And then it comes right out. See, it's not going to be loose or shake around. That's all I like about it. And then when you pull it out, there she is. And I'll just take that off because I'll be opening it soon. I'll put that back in because I got a few more to go. All right, here we go. I'm going to do this one next. Now this, my friends, is a pen that came in from India. Let me see. Can you read that back there? I can't hardly see it. And Jake will tell you where it's from. Is it India? Uh, it is from India, and uh, most of it I cannot pronounce properly, but I do I do recognize Mumbai. Mumbai. So that that's from there. That's going to yeah, Mumbai. Hey, all right. And this like took forever to get here, but it came. It, it didn't come today. I think it came last month, a month before. Oh well, but it got here, and it, it came nicely packed. And so no damage will be done to the pen. Here we go. And look at that beautiful pen. That is gorgeous. And what's inside there? Oh, a surprise? All right, folks. You know, uh, I've said it before, and I don't want to just say it, but it's really rough for me to come in and do a any kind of pen review, pen mail, anything, because of the depression and the major pain that I have. But once I get in there, I'm good to go. Yes or no? Yes. Now, check this out. When you buy this pen, you're going to get one of these pen sleeves from Mumbai. I believe that's their flag color. So that's going to be pretty cool. And there is a, really, it is a stunning, gorgeous fountain pen. It really, really is. You know, India has put out some remarkable, beautiful fountain pens. And uh, I haven't had any problems with any of them. They write like a champ. So let me put this back up. And I'll be right back, okay? Don't go away. Okay, here we go with the next one. And now, I believe this is going to be maybe China. 
I think, can't find where I ordered it from, and I'm not going to look. Alrighty, here we go. And then I'll give you the update on our health, and let you know what's going on. So here it is. It is a pocket pen size, which I think is very cool. Love the colors. I love the colors that are in the barrel. Really nice. And it even has a little key that I'm not going to mess with right now, but it has a little key, and you can go in there and twist the piston out. Do what you got to do. So that takes care of that. Now, let me see. And that's that. The latest update. All right. Jake went to the hospital uh, a couple of weeks ago and uh, he had to stay overnight, so I stayed there with him. And, uh, you know, first they were going to put one stem in, but they may have to put two, and he may have to stay overnight. Well, they had to put two stems in, and he had to stay overnight. But he was out that next morning. And I hated the, the uh, place where he stayed because the sofa was hard. I lived through it. And then we stopped finally, and... Had a lunch later that day, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, at El Phoenix. Mm, good Mexican food. I was hungry, we all were hungry. So we ate and came home. Excuse me. Uh, now, my latest update I, uh, Still have the breathing problems, and I will have to go to a doctor for that. I had to go back to my doctor for this, my wrist. What has happened, and they sent me for x-rays. What has happened, I've got that crippling arthritis that has started to set in pretty bad here in the wrist, in the fingers, up the arm, in the shoulder. And he's trying to get into this shoulder. And uh, I don't know how far it's going to spread, but anyway, that's the latest on that. Uh, anything else, Jake? I think that pretty much covers it for right now. Well, Jake, back at work. Uh, if I think of anything else I forgot, I will mention it next time. So, peace and love to all you guys. You guys are groovy. You all guys kicking it. Get ready for the Santa to come by. And uh, I'm going to try to get on here tomorrow or Sunday and do another one. Okay? All right. Well, peace, and kisses, and love to everybody. And Lena. I hope you're doing better. I pray you're doing better. And we're praying for your father, Lena. By the way, folks, if you have a moment of time, say some prayers for Lena and her father. Thank you. God bless. Goodbye.